Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today it is a user scenario sent in by J. Schaefer 10, although I have adjusted it, uh, and I am not going to be sticking to the build restrictions either. I'm going to do this more freeform. Um, Japan versus United States, two battleships and two battle cruisers versus two battleships and two battle cruisers. We have a heavy cruiser. The Americans have a heavy cruiser, but they have an advantage in two light cruisers. And of course, three years of technology. So, let us get into the design. Now, I am allowed to design all of the game. Jeez, doesn't normally stutter like that. We are, of course, going to go for the awesome Dreadnought 4. Now, I was given a maximum tonnage. But it's actually more than the biggest biggest one. So I could go for a maximum size. But I'm actually going to go for the medium. Actually, what year is this? 19... 1920, isn't it? Let's, let's really challenge ourselves. Let's go for a... Uh, yeah. Go for a, this size. And we'll we'll do our Washington compliant. Although in this era that's that's relatively easy because yeah, I only have sixteen Mark ones, so it'd be fourteens anyway. Uh, that I'm probably gonna go for. No, the dread dreadnought three. For the dreadnought three. No. No, I like oh I'm gonna go with this one. because uh, you get some really weird stuff for this. Uh Towers are all much of a muchness. Uh, they give you a long range accuracy. That's pretty neat. Uh, base accuracy 6 is bad, but this one's alright. <laughs> treaty. We don't need no stinking treaty. Make a Fuso. Uh, well, probably will end up being quite Fuso like. Uh, we we shall see. Uh, I want to I want to do a, a kind of realisticish build. Uh, so funnel wise, if I fill this with oil, we get seventy five smoke to play. Well, that's a mega funnel complex, isn't it? Well, that means that the superstructure is probably going to be pretty compact. Nice. Okay, we can get behind that. Uh, now, main guns, I did say I was going to go 14s. Hmm. Too much open space. <laughs> hey, snapping to the Hmm. And it's a little bit early to try and go for triples. But we might be able to do something interesting. What? How? Game, explain to me how that fits there, but not there. That is the weirdest thing ever. Okay. What about medium two? No, uh, medium two looks horrible. Medium three. Have to spin around because it's an annoying as shit thing. Yeah. Okay. We'll go. We we'll use the medium threes then. Come on. And just. For it being the same over here. We use a for here. Now then. I wonder if we can get this to fit. Yes, we can. Q turret. Just. I think. Especially if I shift this stuff along.
Hmm. Might actually be better to put the tower here and then the funnel and put the Q turret here. Yes. I think that is uh, better. Nineteen twenty. Yeah, it has a Q turret. It's got a little bit of an half weight offset, but that shouldn't be too hard to fix. There, there we go. Lovely stuff. Looks a little bit strange. Fuso had A B Q R. What do you mean by an R turret, Kaiser? Because uh, I am thinking about doing this to have X, Y, Z. Uh, that, however, does max out my guns, which is a bit of an issue. But uh, I can get the Q turret a little bit freer. Yeah, that reduces the half weight offset, not completely. There we go. Yeah, just one funnel. That's all it needs. Uh, I could go for more. Uh, if I could go for like two long funnels, but I don't know I, I like the mega mega funnel complex. It, it makes it makes it very neat, very compact, and that's what lets me get the Q turret in. Um. Oh, thank you for the snow. Thank you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the aft belt is this bit. But, uh, you know, that's that's what you've got to, got to do to get your yeah, seven turrets. Although it would be a lot more sensible to have, you know, two Q turrets or something. But I, I kind of like the uh, triple super firing setup at the back. It's always fun. Right. Uh, small guns. They do have a light cruiser. So it's tempting to go with 6 inch. But they are super, super heavy. Um, so I might restrict myself to just much smaller guns. In the casements. Because they, they do tend to contribute rather a lot to roll. Secondary guns. Can I fit three inch guns anywhere? Oh, I can. What about fours? No. Any threes or twos, right? right? Let's put twos up in the towers. Oh, I saw it. There's a brief moment where it would actually fire. There we go. Lovely. Okay, and then oh, that'll do. Fours and twos, plenty of stuff to keep light ships away. Hey, the Sultan! Hello, hello. Good to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Uh... Oh, so I have one here and then one in between here. Yeah, that makes sense. I would call, still call that Q1, Q2. Um, yeah, I don't think they'll ever put carries. You like this ship? Good. Good. <laughs> you know I've got more to design. <laughs> but 
Right, let, let's get this let's get this done. We'd go for standard quarters. I think the Japanese would like maximum range. Um gear turbines gets us to well, 26 knots actually is pretty good for 1920 for a battleship like this. Probably do 26.5. No bother? Yeah. 26.5. Uh, now then, guns. Let's go the tube powder route. I am a fan. TNT 3, very nice. You need a hydrophone? Nah, probably. Good idea. Uh, do, 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 do. Flash flash chance 3%. My goodness. It's very early to go for an all or nothing. So we'll just go with an armored citadel. Now, yeah, let's see. Stand, let's go standard bulk kits. Because this way of fitting everything in is going to be tricky. That's my chance of 3%. Get it down to 2, 1, yeah, 1. Uh, we would go, f I think, a, a, a regular crew. I'm not going to go anything crazy. Range is very high. Might need to tone that down a little bit to get a little bit more. Yeah, torpedo protection in. So we'll go down to standard range. Uh, it is Fuso like, yes, it has a Q. Uh, no, it's actually a realistic ship, although it does carry a lot of firepower, probably too much. I think I think this turret in particular is not a good idea. But uh, you know, sometimes you just have to you just have to do something a bit more interesting. Uh now, that does not leave me a lot of leeway to fiddle with the armor scheme, so see if we can increase the aft belt a little bit, the aft deck a little bit. Uh, turret tops. Uh, mid belt. Really, I want that aft belt protected as much as I can, but that's it. A little bit more on the tower. Let's be right at the limit. Okay. Battle cruiser time. And this it has the hull shape that you, you like. This is the same as the Dreadnought 3, right? So the Minami. Let's go standard and regular crew. Let's get that sorted first. So what do we got? Terrible towers. Terrible, terrible towers. Let's go for the big one. Uh, and this one probably. Da, 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 da. Terrible towels. <laughs> no, not terrible towels. <laughs> Um, we've got 59 smoke to play with. That would be two of those if they fit, but you only get one funnel slot. That is sad. Do any of the rear towers come with a funnel slot? Do you? You do! Perfect. I choose you. One smoke interference. Lovely. That's why I did that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I do tend to go with the flow. So, um, yeah, like the ships kind of build themselves. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but uh, it's often how I how I go about doing it. Um, right. Engine efficiency on the naturals is terrible. Uh, induced boiler gets me to 20. No, nah, that's no good. What about a balanced boiler? Pff, 
Not very good either. Forced. Somewhere around 32 knots, which is fast. No, less than that. 31? 31. Okay. 31 knots is acceptable. Uh, can I, I can make... Now nah, that would make the ship bigger. We'll go with the uh, 33,000 version. Uh, we'll go medium, medium again. Uh, guns is going to be 14s as well. Oh, it's one of these hulls. Where it fucks you with the turrets. Um, excuse my French. <laughs> the barbettes, I mean. It doesn't let you put barbettes wherever you like. Oh, no, wait. It lets you put the small ones where, where I want. Damn you, game. Let me put a barbette there. Fine. Fine. Two can play at that game. Somehow I have an aft weight offset, which is hilarious. There. Perfectly sensible design. For a battle cruiser. Move the superstructure forward. Why? Although, you are correct in that if I do move the superstructure forward... what? Because what's better than one Q turret? That's right. It's two Q turrets. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. Now I have an half weight offset again. Um... Oh wait, aft. I'm an idiot. Excuse me. I know it was balanced there. But uh, bear with me. I still want the arcs to be somewhat decent. That'll do. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Apparently they do have rednecks. I don't know why auto mod blocked that, but uh, yes. Uh, casements are Again, I'm going to go with the four inch guns. And some twos. Small hull to ABXY. Uh, yeah, that could have worked. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, but uh, is a Q turret not more, uh, not more fun? Right. Damn, I, I, mm, mm, that's got a certain something about it. <laughs> right, uh, semi auto. I'm just going to go with the exact same setup. Was the battleship using standard shells? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Wait, did the, ba the battleship had Citadel 3, didn't it? Yeah. We'll stick with that. Tech. Uh, battle cruisers tend to get in more trouble, so I'm going to go with the anti torp 3 uh, and the double bottom hull. And then we're going to need some more armor because this thing is uh, vulnerable, to say the least. So I want at least 14 inches of armor on the guns. 
Um, 12 inch mid belt, if I can get away with it. Nope. That's pretty much it. Okay, and last of all, we have the Heavy Cruiser. It, it, it does, actually. Yeah, because this has seven, and uh, this has uh, five. So this actually drops two turrets. I think this one has seven. No, it only has six. Oh, is it later on you get access to the seventh? So yes, you are absolutely correct. Tell them when you're done. I'm talking rubbish. Uh, ooh, the Heavy Cruiser 1. Interesting ship. We'll stick with this size. Let's go for 13,000 even. Oh, that actually changes the size, does it? Oh, there are literally two. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for the 13,000 even then. We'll go for the smaller one. Uh... Now then, what are we getting? Pretty much the same thing. So we'll go with a smaller, cheaper one. Wish we could rotate that. Oh, why, game? So, how much smoke does that give me? 53. Well, that's entirely useless. Um... Q-turret to the Heavy Cruiser. Probably not, given how its superstructure is laid out. But uh, we'll see. So we'll go standard regular crew again. We'll go medium range. Standard bulkheads. I, I do like doing that when I'm, uh, when I'm building ships that are supposed to operate together. Uh, or being designed right roughly around the same time. 28.5 knots is okay for a heavy cruiser. It's not great, but it's, uh, it's fast enough. Um, guns. What do we get? Mark 3, Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 3, Mark 3. Hmm, it would be cheating to use 9-inch guns, which is why we're going to do it, definitely. I think you can have more than four turrets. Um, but we're going to go with the 9s. Probably... Or... Hmm... Still have a full weight offset. There we go. Uh, should give us quite a lot of guns. Can you super duper fire? Yeah, yes, you can with nines, but not on this hull. Uh, or at least not using this built in one, I don't think. Because uh, what you would need to do is stick one of these in, and then yeah, that's not going to be high enough. Uh, but yes, in general, you can do it with nine inch guns. These are quite chunky nine inch guns, though. Um. On the stern? Uh, possibly, but... Well, normally you could, but the, this hull won't let me fit um, the small barbettes down here. Which is the problem. Uh, secondary guns... Twos? Or threes? 
Eh, uh, threes. That'll give it some appearance. And we'll add some torpedo launchers because. Why not? Right. Um. Oops. Actually, I'm not sure I checked I did that properly on the battle cruiser. What was the flash fire chance on the battle cruiser? One percent. Okay, that's fine. Did it need to be maximum barbec thickness? No, it didn't. It could have been heavy. Okay. I'll do that and I'll get some more armor, please. While I remember. Okay. Uh, flash fire chance is zero. That's very nice. Uh, I think we have everything else we would want. Oh no, torpedo protection. Always useful on a heavy cruiser. Because they can eat torpedoes like nobody's business. And we've got three double reinforced bulk kids. No, I can't drop them off it if I do that. This thing is going to be tanky, right. Uh, nine. Good. Yeah, get all that all the way to ten. And these to twelve. <sighs> Chunky. Very chunky, but I like that. Um, pushing it now to get much more out of it. There we go. I think that'll do. There we go. Three ships for you. Quite like that. It's quite nice. I think the battle cruiser is probably the most interesting one. But uh, let's go. Let's see what the uh, Americans brought. No, you can't get oxygens. It's just um, standards and fasts in 1920. Yep, it's it's got a quad launcher each side. Hello there, Rhaegar and Roids and Boy. Welcome, welcome. CA looks sick. Thank you. <laughs> Super heavy cruiser. Yeah, I, I have uh, been very naughty and gone with nine inch guns, which I probably shouldn't have done. But uh, we'll just lie and say that they're eight. So I am 1920. The uh, United States, who've gone insane, are 1923. Not that you'd know it. With the cage masts on the battle cruise. Oh, I love I love it when you go crazy with your own ship. Sometimes the AI just throws out absolute nonsense. Right. Uh. Yes. The heavy cruiser. I'm going to put on screening duty for the battleships. And the battle cruisers are going to head this way. I know. I, th I, th <laughs> I think the uh, Agincourt esque ludicrous number of turrets <laughs> works pretty well. Can have a look at one of these battle cruisers. Battle cruisers, uh, I don't know. There's something about them. I'm not sure they were very good, to be honest, but uh, they look cool. And heavy cruiser underway. What does she look like? Oh, yes. Very nice. That's a nasty heavy cruiser. Right. Save your torpedoes. Let's go find some Americans. Must be relatively close. 
Enemy in sight. What have we got? It's the battle cruiser. Holy f <laughs> six triple thirteen inch guns. Yes. <laughs> oh, America. You crazy, crazy sausages. That'll be the second battle cruiser, will it? Yep. Oh, scored the first hit. Not much of a hit. And we have a battleship spotted. Okay, that's a little more sensible with four triple guns. Which are 15s? Damn. <laughs> okay, they're not going to be very accurate, but uh, that's pretty cool. A little 8 inch up here. All that's lonesome. I think the casements are 7s. Okay. Could be an interesting one. But, um, I know it's Cage Mask versus Q Continuum. <laughs> oh, those 15s, they really do hit hard. Please don't murder my battle cruisers. I really don't have the uh, armor to take on those 15 inch guns. Hopefully, a sharp turn will uh, dissuade them from that. Holy crap. So many shells. Hopefully the battleships will be able to menace them a little bit. Accuracy still not great, to be honest. That was a 13-inch hit. the uh, ineffective fleeing at the moment. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ba -bum, ba -bum. We will get some IDs in a minute. Ah, we've got an ID on the battle cruiser, or one of them. The Montana. Kind of repellent using Cordite. Oh boy. 27 knots. They do have torpedo tubes on the sides. Okay. Uh, Bobette 1. Oh, that's not a good choice. Reduced ammo. Hmm. Okay. Battleship, please. 89, 94. Not yet. Takao continues to try and close. Yeah. There we go. Battleship spotted. Massachusetts and Delaware. Also Cordite. Slow. No torps. Uh. Bobbit 3, increased shells, heavy shells. Ooh, boy. They could be rather explosive, those ships. In fact, all of them could be. Cordite 1 is um, 
well, has a tendency to go bang. I've just noticed the Charleston here getting very big for its boots. Damage. Maybe dissuade it. Captain's killed. Pretty nice damage. Maximum bulkheads. I'm not expecting to kill it, but the battle bulkheads here. Standard on the uh, battle cruiser and few on the battleships. Charleston really regretting their decision. Sink you bastard. Buckets. There we go. Good. Uh, it's kind of taking a bit of damage. But we should now be able to start uh, wailing away on their heavier ships with impunity. Hits. There we go. Good damage on the Massachusetts. Engine out. Our best bet with uh, her is to flood her. Is, uh, with a few bulkheads, there's quite a lot of flooding already. It's our anti flood light. Two. Citadel five. Nice. Bring the battle cruisers a bit closer now. Uh, Takao, pretty heavily damaged. Falling back. Yujo is taken over. More flooding hits. It's a lot of water now. Yep. Down goes Massachusetts. Okay. I think Ryusho, yeah, is now going to focus on the Montana. Oh shit! Torpedoes. That is an unwelcome sight. Ryujo, I think, can avoid. Takao, I'm going to have to detach. She's already turning, she should be okay. Maya, you know what? You can go in for a torpedo attack. I think the two battle cruisers will be okay, but to make sure. Well, Atagao is way ahead, but. Uh, in army, I'm going to get to turn. You know, probably, yeah, they came out of the Montana. Yep. I think we can say that's an avoid. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there's the light cruiser over here. Yeah, Maya, I would appreciate if you could murder that light cruiser because it's got a ton of torpedoes on it. Oh, you're firing your own torpedoes. Nice, but uh, let's uh, be, take it easy. Don't think we're going to hit anything. And another set of torpedoes coming out. Ah, well, I think where the battleships were going. It's fine. Spread coming out from the light cruiser. Yeah. Hard turn. I think, yeah, but I mean, you need to watch yourself. Now, there's the other one. The Philippines, which Atago is currently obliterating. Oh man, this has just evolved into a mess. A mess! Oh, Montana goes down. Just. Yeah, load of 14 inch hits and sunk. Not a good time to be uh, the Philippines, I don't think. Apologies to my Filipino viewers. Torps fired at. I think that's a cow, actually. Better off taking on the Dayton. Just find a whole spread of torpedoes. I think we'll just miss, but uh, you never know with this game. You've got your shiny new Dremel. Nice. Oh, fuck. Torpedo hit. Oh, the heavy cruiser spread that I completely forgot about. Damn it. The Philippines goes down. Now, Wichita is potentially a problem, but I think Gunners on Ryujo are on it. Uh, Dayton sinks. Good. Right, see if you can uh, take out the Delaware by yourself. So you have plenty of torpedoes. Okay, 
that one's a miss. Those two, not so much, I don't think. Using slowdown, it's like the ship's already slowing down by itself just through damage. There's not much you can do with a 39,000 ton ship. Ow. Ow. However, I think it's hit mostly uh, already damaged bits of the ship. And it now, s the wish star sinks, so that's good. Right, I guess it's just trying to hunt down the Delaware. Ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -bum. Ba -dum -ba -bum. Oh yeah, definitely uh, fighting well, the crew of the Wichita there. Delaware getting uh, smacked up at the moment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I only have the starboard tubes loaded. So we're going to have to be uh, pretty risky with the minor hit. said we lost the torpedo, but I don't know which one. I think that was the one that was loaded, annoyingly. Shit. Yeah, they shut off the torpedo launcher. That is uh, not great. Get out. Battleships handled it, handled it for a bit. Yujo doing a good job. It's a lot of damage. Not able to keep that out, I don't think. Took out a main gun. Oh, I mean, Yujo's pretty beaten up, and Takao is taking quite a lot of damage, but. Uh, the other ships were pretty much okay, and uh, I'll take a an enemy fleet wipe. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, interesting, interesting scenario, interesting uh, era to fight in. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Those of you on YouTube, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.